Well, hello and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy, and welcome to another episode of Flat Earth Can't Science. You know, a few days ago I had done a video in response to a challenge by Antonio Subarats uh, and used a water level to demonstrate that the horizon is lower than the level of the observer, confirming the spherical Earth. This had gone back and forth once or twice, and I was informed by some of my uh, subscribers that somebody had done an attack video on me, and I went over and had a look. This YouTuber who calls himself Master made a rather sloppy attempt to debunk my water level demonstration of the horizon. You know, and having people check my results is okie dokie with me. I mean, it really is. That's the way science works. But the thing is, he uh, not only put my name all over his video, uh, claiming that he was debunking me, he faked his results. He was pretty well hammered in the comments over that after I pointed out what he had done. But, uh, unfortunately, he came back for more. Well, that's a nice little title screen that he's got. He's got some video skills, but let's see if that translates into being able to put together a water level. Okay, this looks a little bit better. He's going to have a camera on the entire circuit so that he won't clamp it like he did last time. Looks like he's got his water levels marked, and he's got a level on there. Oops, hang on just a second there. Well, I guess, oh well. That's just kind of an inside joke. Now here's his final setup. He's got his water level out there. You see his camera's all cockeyed. The thing's not in the center of the screen, so therefore it can't be at eye level, according to Fouquet. But as you can clearly see, we've got a good line of sight here, and that's nicely leveled. Okay, so now he's demonstrating that his water level is level to the horizon back there, and he's lifting up one corner. Now notice this time when he uh, moves the water level, you see how the levels are bouncing up and down and freely movable? Compare that to his last one where they were pretty fixed. Now he's uh, dropping the camera down and showing the water level looks like it's over the horizon. And he talks a little smack about me, and then we're going to go out to the uh, outside world and do this again. But let's show you how he did that. Now you see, the first time what he did was he raised both the near tube and the camera, and as you can see, the water level immediately adjusted. So here's the, what he did, was he started on the left there, and you see the, the water level's all lined up with the horizon. Then he raised the near tube, as we just saw, and then he dropped it back down. And oh, this is how Big Bad Bob the Science Guy faked his level. Now what he's done here is just basically given us a, an example of parallax with a very, very near mark for her horizon. You see how the first two tubes, uh, the, the water level and the marks in the horizon are all kind of lined up and then they're really skewed on that last one that was his money shot? I guess what he's trying to imply here is that uh, the person that actually did the water level observation apparently was doing this on my behalf to try and fake this, making use of parallax, which is, well, on one hand quite amusing and on the other hand kind of paranoid because we don't need to use parallax to demonstrate this. The Earth is a sphere and this is what happens on a sphere. It happens every time. So I guess what I'm saying is it's been done many times in the past, it'll be done many times in the future, and it'll happen the same way every single time. If you go high enough, you are going to see the horizon drop below the level of your observation height. And in our series of three observations in the last video, we found that uh, we didn't see the drop at sea level. We started seeing a drop around 1,200 feet. So our intrepid flat earth scientist, having seen our last video that showed the horizon started to drop away at about 1,200 feet, goes out to the estuary by Liverpool there and sets up at about 780 feet. And lo and behold, he seems to come to the conclusion that the horizon is at level. Of course, he's not really lined up here real well and things are a little cockeyed, but, you know, it's 780 feet or so. I wouldn't really expect a huge drop. And here are his results compared to the earlier ones. The ones on either end with the red fluid are from the observation in California, and there's his one in the middle from England. Now you see the one on the right is at sea level, and the horizon seems to match up very nicely with the fluid levels. The one on the far left was at 1,200 feet, and as you can see, it is clearly above. His is at 780 feet. You don't see the horizon on the left side of his uh, marker there, but it does appear to be more or less similar to the sea level one. I'll let you guys have a look at the water out there and decide whether or not he's 700 feet off the water. But uh, I don't have a problem with any of this, and I don't see anything that debunks what uh, I had presented in the first place. Do any of you out there watching these videos feel as though I had done anything wrong or misled anybody or my observations didn't match what I reported? 
And while you're doing that, why don't you go ahead and have a look at this post from the uh, person that put this video together and see what their motivations are. Uh, I thought at first maybe they had been interested in the science of it, but uh, apparently this man took personal affront that I had a psychologist in one of my videos who expressed the opinion that the Flat Earth Movement was a conspiracy theory. And while people that were in it did not necessarily have psychological issues, some very well might. It seems that he is concerned that I have labeled him somehow, even though it wasn't my video. Well, my friend, I hate to tell you this, if you're a flat earther, you've pretty much taken care of that yourself. And as far as your threats of cyberbullying go, you know, to be honest with you, I really just don't play that game. I'm going to just ban you and move along. You know, and as far as my subscribers go, I'm not going to encourage you to go over and pay this man boy a visit and tell him what you think of his tactics. People like this are generally looking for attention, even if it's negative attention, so don't play into his hand. If you do want to strike back at him, probably the best thing to do is just hit that subscribe button in the upper left corner and maybe have a look at a couple of my other videos. That'll just irritate him to no end. This is Bob the Science Guy, signing off from Northern Michigan. Happy New Year!